girl i see you you have dreams of being a full-time business owner you've launched but you're not quite ready to leave your full-time job so how do you balance both without losing your mind well in this video i'm going to be giving you tips on how to do that plus stay motivated i'm heather elise owner of design your life to stay up to date on the best business advice and motivation on how you can create a life that you love, be sure to subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I post a new video every single week. This might be the hardest thing you have to experience as an entrepreneur. Balancing the business and the nine to five. When I first launched Design Your Life, I was working full time as an interior designer. I had a side gig that I was already a part of and then I decided to launch my business. So tired was an understatement. And I'm sure that you're gonna feel that too. So I wanted to come here today to bring you this video to hopefully give you some advice that's going to push you a little bit, especially if you're just starting out. First thing is to remember that this isn't going to be forever. You're working hard now to make your dream of owning your own business come true. I want you to be thankful that you have a nine to five because it means that right now, at the very beginning of your business, you're not having to worry about where's the client coming from? Do I have income coming in? Am I gonna be able to pay the bills this month? It's going to take some of the stress off of your plate for all of the other things that you need to focus on right now. This is just the season that you're in. It's not gonna be like this forever. And if you show up fully and committed to making this happen, this season can come and go as quickly as you want, want it to. However, right now, you need to focus on showing up in your nine to five fully and aware and as a good employee and being the woman or the man that you need to be and you also need to be looking at showing up in your business getting yourself out on social media and being that person that go-to person that the people in your niche and industry want to go to the second thing is to stay organized don't try to wing this because you're working full time, it might mean that you're only able to focus on a few things within a week. So make your to-do list for the week and whatever you don't get done on Monday, move it to Tuesday. Whatever you don't get done on Tuesday, move it to Wednesday and so on. Early on in my business, I knew that it was important for me to show up every single day, which we'll get to, but I also had to stay organized with those income producing activities. So I know that every single Monday, my blog post goes out. I know that every single Wednesday, my podcast goes out. So staying consistent within my week and working through my days like that ensures that I'm not gonna get overwhelmed. I know what I have to work on every single week. I know the things that I have to get done. And I'm also setting up my following to get used to seeing me and hearing from me on those certain days to looking forward to my content. So I wanna hear from you. Comment below and tell me what your week looks like in your business. I'm curious. I want to hear how you're scheduling your things out. Do you, um, do you post certain things on a certain day? How do you run your business? How are you running your week? Let me know in the comments. I did kind of mention this one a little bit, but showing up every single day. The faster you want out of your nine to five is directly related to how much you show up in your business. Do something every single day on behalf of your business. Some of you have more than just nine to five jobs. You have families, you have bigger priorities. I get it. Squeezing in that time that you need to grow your business is a lot to ask for. And sometimes that gets pushed aside. But guess what? I don't wanna hear it. If you have to get up an hour early or stay up two hours late or say no when you're invited out or work on Saturdays and Sundays for the entire day. Do it, okay? 
what is the saying that we all have the same amount of hours in the day as Beyonce? And if Beyonce can do it, then we can too. If this is your dream and this is your calling, you have to show up and you have to make it a non-negotiable in your life if you want to reach those goals and those dreams. I'm really curious to know, those of you that are working full-time and you're running an online business, what do you do? How are you balancing everything? Comment below, let's continue the conversation, help each other out and give each other advice on exactly how to handle this. Also, if you want more strategies like these, then I want to invite you to download my free training, Three Strategies to Scale Your Business Online. In this training, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly what you need in place right now, first thing, foremost, before you do anything else to grow and scale a successful business online. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe, like, share it with other biz owners, and comment below with the word helpful if you found this video really helped you out. All right, I'll catch you next time.